Hey everyone, Nike here. Today I am trying out a new RGB mechanical keyboard by Chelo Khelo, the Pataka mechanical keyboard. Why is it called that? Let's find out. Today I have with me Chelo Khelo's Pataka mechanical keyboard. We have Chelo Khelo marked on the front and on the back we have Let's Play. Must be their tagline. And their website is also marked on the box at chelokhelo.com. The inner box just slides out of the sleeve and inside we have a USB-C to USB-A cable and also included in the box is the keycap and switch removal tool. The keyboard is protected by a plastic sheet. Under that we find the manual, the manual lists the specifications and also the keyboard combinations for RGB FX and other media controls. Now for the keyboard. Wow, it's white with black accents and the tops of the keys don't seem to have any markings on them. Everything is actually printed on the front, keeping the top free to be illuminated. Looks really nice. I am loving the full size arrow keys too. And the Pataka keyboard is a TKL or 10 keyless keyboard. They are also called 85% keyboards. Saves a bit of space as compared to a full size keyboard. And the space bar doesn't seem to be diffused like the other keys. We have the Cello Kalo branding on the Windows keys here and it's got some good weight to it. The bottom of the keyboard has the brand sticker. Hmm. Designed in India, manufactured in China. Hope one day the manufacturing shifts to India too. And uh, these are the rubber pads to keep the keyboard from slipping. And here's the USB-C port. And these grooves allow you to run the cables out in the direction of the computer. Two to the sides and one in the center. And this is how you would run the cable under the keyboard. The cable is a standard USB-C cable so it can be replaced easily in case it gets damaged. Oh, the LEDs are already lighting up. Let me turn the lights off for us to get a better look. These are Cello Halo's glow through sitare keycaps which can help maximize the luminosity of the RGB lights. There you go. Now we can see them better. Rainbow is the standard. This is a keycap tool and this helps in removing the cap of the switch. Comes out as easy as that. The top is diffused to soften the LED light and spread it out and the key markings are on the front, keeping the entire top free to be illuminated. And the keycap is made of ABS, so it's quite sturdy. And these are also replaceable with custom keycaps and we have a couple of options available via Cello Halo's website and you can also purchase them from other vendors as they use the standard keycap size. Reverse the tool and we can pull the switch out. Here you go. We have Gatron yellow linear switches within and this is the bottom of the switch and we have a certain orientation to install the switches back so keep that in mind. The switch does not have the activation click that the blue switches have but they are user replaceable. So you can have blue switches if you want to. You can just replace all of them with blues if you want. The keycaps have this small concave indent within and the keyboard has a default tilt to it. The feet can be opened if you need a more comfortable angle to type on. The keyboard also has a matte finish which is great. If it was glossy it would be a fingerprint magnet. The keyboard is pretty comfortable to type on. I have to get used to it as I generally use a full size keyboard. And this is how the Gatron yellow keys sound. That was satisfying. The yellows are a midpoint between Gatron blues and reds. Blue are the most tactile and make the classical mechanical keyboard sound like those TVSC gold keyboards that we used to have. The Gatron switches at this price point are great and they have a nice tactile feel and are very smooth to operate. I played a few games using this keyboard and it was quite responsive. We can cycle through the lighting effects using the function plus insert or delete key combination.
function plus home to change the LED effect direction. Function plus up and down arrow increases and decreases the brightness. Function plus left and right arrow changes the speed of the effect. Function plus scroll lock changes the color in the selected light effect. And media controls are also available. Function plus F1 opens Windows Explorer. Function plus F2 opens the web browser. Function plus F3 opens the calculator. Function plus F4 opens the media player. Function plus F9 mutes audio. Function plus F10 decreases the volume. And function plus F11 increases volume. Function plus F12 deactivates the keyboard. All the keys actually stop working except for the function and F12 again to activate the keyboard. Two programmable modes are available. Tap function plus end to initiate program mode. Select page up or page down to save and tap on the keys to change the colors. Tap once you get a color, tap again and it keeps changing. This way you can create your own custom designs. But you creative ones watching out there can make even better designs. So what are the pros of this keyboard? Fantastic RGB effects, tons of animations and the programmable modes are pretty cool. If you want a budget, customizable RGB mechanical keyboard, this one ticks all the boxes. If you are new to 85% keyboards, it will take a bit getting used to. So this keyboard is not going to replace my main work computer keyboard, but will be linked to my gaming PC instead. And also if you are someone who works with numbers, the missing number pad might be irritating. So what, what did I not like? The RGB effects are not visible even when a tube light is on. It would have been great if it was brighter. Gamers generally have their rooms a bit darker for optimum screen visibility. So it will work out. And Chalo Khelo have even more keyboard options on their website. So make sure to give them a visit. And uh, do you use a RGB mechanical keyboard? Comment below the one you're using. So that was the video. Make sure to like subscribe and also hit the notification bell to be notified when new videos are added. Thank you for watching and see you all next time.